You're watching WDSU News Channel 6 on your side. There's new research that suggests a birth control device can lower the cancer risk for women by 40%. We're activating the on-call network tonight to look at the connection between the two. Here's WDSU News Channel 6 anchor Camille Whitworth and an expert from Toro Infirmary. Dr. Paul Detrill is with Toro Infirmary. He joins us this evening. And Dr. Trill, let's get straight to it. The type of contraceptive is an IUD. Specifically, what type of cancer could it help protect against? Uh, studies have shown a reduction in, in incidence of endometrial cancer or cancer of the lining of the uterus. And how many women approximately use IUDs in this day and age? Unfortunately, only about 1% of women in the United States, even though that method is the most widely used reversible contraceptive in the entire world. Wow. And so who can use one and who can't? Can you kind of break that down for us? Really, the only people that should not use the IUD as a birth control method or women who are at risk for sexually transmitted diseases, and women who, uh, whose womb or who, whose uterus uh, is not suitable, meaning it's too large um, or abnormally shaped. So at this point, women who are interested in IUD, what certain steps should they take and what specifically should they talk to their doctor about? Really, they need to talk to their doctor about what types of contraceptive that they're interested in. And most importantly, they need to be aware that this is a long-term contraceptive method um, and they also need to uh, have an exam and also be, have a pap smear and be checked for uh, any uh, infections that might be uh, occurring. Dr. Detrill, what are the pros and cons of having an IUD? The pros uh, in terms of having an IUD uh, for some IUDs is a decrease in uh, bleeding each month and less pain with, with cycles. Uh, some of the cons for some of the IUDs uh, are an increase in discharge and slightly irregular menses at the beginning of uh, their cycles after the IUD has been inserted. With time, those usually regulate and their cycles actually become lighter and less painful. All right, that is excellent information. Certainly a lot of choices out there today. Dr. Paul Dutrill from Turo Infirmary, thank you for joining us. Great, thank you. And you can read the study on the use of the contraception device and the cancer risk from our homepage. Look for the link in the Scene on 6 section of WDSU.com.